on her way to the ring. The defending and reigning champion from 2023 Escape the Readathon, Kitty Taker. Film crew won the 2023 Escape the Readathon battle. They are back to defend their titles. One half of the tag champs for the co-hosts, Kitty, showing off her title. And now she will make her way down to the ring. And announcing, Kelsey Cena, the other half of the reigning, defending 2023 Escape the Readathon champs. She's here to say that you might not see her, but she can see you. Film crew can see you, but you can't see us. Hey guys, so I hope you guys found that intro as hilarious as I did when I was filming and editing it. I honestly, <laughs> I was committed to that bit. I made this giant coffin using um, like Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> oh my God, it was too funny. So I hope you guys thought it was hilarious as well. In this video, we are going to be playing my TBR game. So May is a very exciting month because in May, I will be a co-host for Escape the Readathon, which is a readathon that was created by Lexi over at Books with Lexi. I'll leave all the information linked down below, announcement, Lexi's channel, and all the other co-hosts that are going to be involved in this readathon. So this is going to be a month long readathon. It's gonna run all of May. It is a competitive team-based readathon. We are essentially trying to escape the carnival this year. Last year I was also a co-host and it was for film crew and film crew is back. Back and better. <laughs> we won last year. We're back this year. I'm so so excited. I'm gonna be co-hosting with Kelsey who I love so much and I feel like it's gonna be such a fun time. All the information will be linked in the description. Please go sign up and you should definitely join film crew because we are the reigning champs. We won last year. We're gonna definitely win this year. So you should join us. It's going to be really fun. So for Escape the Readathon, there are 10 prompts. And what we're going to be doing for this month is basically I'm going to be playing my Loteria TBR game. But instead of rolling the dice to see how many books I get, I'm actually going to go for 10. So essentially, we're going to be combining this with the Escape the Readathon prompts. I'm going to try and fit the books that I get from here into the Escape the Readathon TBR, if that makes sense. So at the end of this, we should have 10 books. That is like the general plan for this. Hopefully it turns out well. I feel like it should work out because the Escape the Readathon prompts are very broad. So you can really fit any book you want in them. So I feel like this should be possible <laughs> without too much of a headache i think i should be able to do it and the prompts for my loteria tbr game are also pretty vague so it should work out it should work out <laughs> fingers crossed it should work out i'm gonna play the game and once i play and choose other cards i will come back and uh, talk to you guys about my book picks okay so we have our card here we have our beans and our cards i'm just gonna shuffle these really quick okay here we go la muerte oh Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> We're starting off strong. La luna, no. El tambor, yes. La garza, yes. Oops. El barril. La escalera. La bandera. El melón. Wow, this is going a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> so we're at five cards. El Sol. Las Jaras. Wow. <laughs> this is actually wild how good this is. Okay, no. El Venado. El Arbol. Yes. El Corazón. 
el gallo, la corona, la bota, la maceta, el pescado, la cempasúchil, la rana, la botella, el catrín, el borracho. Did I already get el gallo? I think I have two of those. El cotorro. La estrella. Okay, I, I jinxed myself. <laughs> el camarón. Oh, actually, okay, just one more. One more. La sirena. La dama. El mundo. El paraguas. El valiente. La calavera. Okay, there we go. We have our 10 picks. So... I'm going to come back and we will um, see what books we're going to read for each of these prompts and then the Escape the Read a Thumb prompts. So I have like 10 prompts from my Loteria TBR game and I've also matched them with the Escape the Read a Thumb prompts. And I have a total of 10 books and I'm really proud of myself because I was able to include the three books that I for sure have to read this month. One is for my um, Open to the Public book club and then the other two are for my Patreon. So I managed to fit those in. To the prompts like it's just <laughs> it really came full circle so the first card i drew was la muerte and this is to read a horror i'm going to be reading ghost station by s.a barnes this is going to be the spicy cats book club pick for may the spicy cats book club is a open to the public book club so if you would like to join the link is in the description it's a discord only book club and as for escape the readathon it's going to fit the heads up prompt which is an author you read before i have read another book by s.a barnes their first book i think it was like dead silence so i have read a book from them before so that's where we're going to fit in for escape the next one that we got is el tambor which is to read a middle grade and for this one i will be reading the night housekeeper by laura senf this is the second book in the clackety series i read the clackety i think was it in 2023 i think it was 2023 um and i really really liked it so this is a middle grade series it follows our main character who kind of lives in this like haunted town and it just follows her adventures and as for escape the readathon this is going to be my food corp prompt which is to read a popcorn read i feel like middle grades are really easy to read so i consider it a popcorn read for me next one we have is la garza and this is to get olive to pick a book <laughs> I'm going to pair this with a horsing around prompt from Escape, which is to read an intimidating book. So I'm going to choose three books that I think are intimidating and then have Olive pick the book for me. So the three books that I'm going to offer her. Um, I was so scared for her to pick these three. The first one is The Crown of Oaths and Curses by Jay Bree. I'm intimidated by this one because it's so chunky and I also have to read two novellas before you can read this one. So it's just a lot of reading. <laughs> I find it intimidating. Um, so this is going to be one option for Olive. The second option is going to be Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. This one's intimidating because I really liked the Serpent in the Wings of Night series by Carissa Broadbent. And I've either heard you love this one or you hate it. So I'm just really scared because I really like Carissa Broadbent's writing. I'm just scared to start the series. <laughs> So this is my other uh, pick for Olive. And then my final pick is going to be Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey. This is the second book in the Expanse series. It is a space opera. It's just intimidating because <laughs> it's a space opera. Um, and uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some questionable language sometimes in these. So it's intimidating because it's like dude bro sci-fi. But I really liked the first book. I really want to continue. And I've heard a lot of people really like this one. But I'm just a little bit intimidated you know so these are going to be my three uh picks for her i'm going to basically put a piece of kibble on it and have her walk in come here baby pick a book for me i'm so scared what you're gonna pick which one do you want <laughs> you have to pick one no <laughs> olive pick a book oh my god <laughs> we have to do a different tactic come on look <laughs> Look, please. You're being so uncooperative. Olive, look, there's food. Look, there's food on them. Pick one. Which one is it? You don't even care? Olive, please, pick a book. Okay. <laughs> so after that whole ordeal, I was trying to get her to pick, which honestly was way more worth than I expected. She decided that I should read uh, the Crown of Oaths and Curses by Jay Bree. So this is going to be the pick for Intimidating Read. I am going to have to read the two novellas, obviously, before I get into this one. I think it's like the 
scepter and the sword or something they're novellas so it shouldn't be that long but it just makes like this whole experience just like a lot longer because the book is already chunky add in two more two novellas so it's just a whole thing but um yeah <laughs> miss olive wants me to read it so i you know i have to do her bidding so we're gonna be reading this for that prompt the next one i got is la bandera which is to read a manga and for this i'm going to combine it with no strings attached which is a friend rec and I'm going to use Lexi as my friend rec and I'm going to read a manga that she really, really loves. I hear her talking about it all the time. I know she really, really likes it and that is Alice in Borderlands. So I have requested the first volume from my library. I'm very excited. Like I said, I know Lexi really, really likes it. And I know everybody that tries it also really, really likes it. So I'm very excited. For El Melon, it's to pick a book with an orange cover. And I wanted to combine this with the Funhouse prompt, which is a pull pick. So I went on Patreon and I offered four books. Feybound by Sarah L. Arif Arifi. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. But you can see there's like a lot of orange on the cover. I'm so excited about this book. It's like a fey elf fantasy romance, I think. I also put Iron Widow by... Jiron J. Zhao. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. But obviously you can see this cover is very orange. And I really want to read this one. This is like a YA like sci-fi fantasy vibe with these like mecha suits. And I heard that this is like female rage peak. So I do really want to read this one. So this was another option. And then I have The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas, which is it's like a historical horror, I think. Um, but also has like a romance in it. And I feel like there's you know a good amount of orange like it's like different shades of oranges but you know i'd consider this an orange cover so that's another option and then we have last to leave the room by caitlin starling so this is also kind of like an orangey red yellow vibe but this is from this is the evernight exclusive edition it has these really cool spray edges so yeah this is the other option they're all orange books i would say <laughs> so these are the options i'm actually going to check the poll real quick because i haven't checked let me check the poll and I'll let you know which one won. Okay, the winner so far is Feybound. Um, this has the most votes, so we're just gonna go with this one. This is gonna be the pick for orange cover and pull pick. I'm so excited about this one. I've heard nothing but great things, so I'm just, I'm so, so, so excited. So it's gonna be the pick for that. The next one is El Sol, which is a mood read. And because this is so vague, I decided to combine this with Hard Hitter, which is a five-star prediction. And I have the perfect book for this because this is a five-star prediction. I did a video about my five-star predictions and this book was on there and I've been meaning to work on that so I'm gonna choose this one. The Flame King's Captive by Chloe Chastain. This is like I think an Omegaverse romance with like dragons something along those lines. It sounds really good. I'm, I've literally been wanting to read this for so long but I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and I'm like I don't know why because I know I'm gonna love it I think it's that it's like when you know you're gonna love something why do I put myself off of reading it I literally could not tell you there's that's something <laughs> there's something going on with that but I have been wanting to read this so bad and I have a feeling I'm gonna give it five stars so like obviously we gotta we gotta go with this one this is gonna be my pick for this I'm so 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 excited and I know it kind of like defeats the purpose of a mood read when you like assign a book for your tbr but like the mood is always there for this book you know what i mean like i'm always in the mood for this i just don't do it for some reason so i think it counts <laughs> the next one is las caras which is to read an enemies to lovers romance <laughs> i'm so excited about this one too actually it's like really similar to the flame king's captive but this is fireheart by emma ham the difference being that i think this one the man is like an actual shifter like he shifts into a into a dragon and in the Flame King's Captive, I think the guy just like has a dragon, you know? So like, they're similar, but they're different. He's a shifter and he shifts into a dragon. But this is like an enemy to lovers because she basically wants to kill the king. Um, and he's a king's bodyguard. So it's like, you know, they're at odds. This is the Hellraiser book club pick for Patreon. I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing a spoiler-filled reading vlog for this. But I've been wanting to read more of Emma Ham ever since I read Whispers of the Deep, which is right here. I love that one. I literally talk about it all the time. But I want to read more from Emma Ham because I really enjoyed that one. So I'm very excited to get into this one. So the next card I have is El Arbol. And for this one, it is to read an eco horror. I'm going to be combining this with Cutthroat Circus, which is to match a thumbnail. So I'm going to be using Kelsey's thumbnail. It's this one. It has a lot of greens. And I'm going to be reading Win in Green by Hugh Zachary, which also has a bunch of greens in it. 
and I feel like they really match. And Kelsey also reads a lot of like vintage horror, which I think is also perfect uh, to match her thumbnail and her reading taste to go with Gwyn and Green. I don't know if she's read this one before, but I feel like they match. So that's what I'm going to be doing for El Arbol. El Camarón, and this is to read Kraken Romance. And I'm going to be pairing this with Good Fortune, which is to read a book of your favorite genre, Monster Romance Girl here. So... It was just like, it was, those two prompts were made for each other. So I'm going to be reading Tentacles and Teeth by Rowan Merrick. And this is my top tier uh, Patreons book club. We have like a Monster Romance book club. Um, and that's going to be the book for May. I'm so excited. This is like a sapphic kraken with a werewolf, I think. And I think there's a throuple involved somehow. Not sure, but it is um, a sapphic monster romance and i've been wanting to read more sapphic monster romances so i'm so excited about this one i literally can't wait so that's gonna be my pick for el camarón so yeah i can't wait so the final card is la calavera and this is to read a vampire book which i mean <laughs> i won i literally had the best set of cards this month i'm gonna be combining this with bullseye battle which is to read a new to you author and the book i'm gonna go with is the vampire debt by ali winters this i think is like a almost like historical fantasy vampire romance i think i got this in the stuff your kindle sale and it just looks so cool <laughs> like the cover is awesome i'm kind of into the vibe of like a historical fantasy with vampires it just sounds so good like okay i'm excited so um that's gonna be my pick for la calavera so those are my 10 books for my escape the readathon tbr i have made my little spread here so this is what um may is looking like i did a little ferris wheel for escape and here i have all the books as you can see I'm so excited about this. <laughs> like this. I feel like this is going to be such a fun reading month. So yes, here it is. I'm so excited. I feel like it's going to be so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this little combination of uh, Escape the Readathon prompts and my Loteria TBR game. I feel like I did such a great job because I was able to include all the books that I have to read. Like, wow, <laughs> I killed it this month. If you haven't heard about Escape the Readathon and you want to join, I will leave all the information linked down below. It's going to be so much fun. So make sure you guys sign up and subscribe to everybody it's just it's gonna be so much fun you're not gonna want to miss out on this so if you made it to the end of this video and you want to leave me a little emoji let's do the octopus emoji <laughs> for tentacles and teeth because we're gonna have so much fun with a kraken romance i already know so yeah you can leave me a little octopus emoji so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to keep up with more content from me i'll see you guys in my next video bye